Hello everyone, my name is Mark Culinary, owner and founder of ROR Outlaws, and uh, we're coming to you from San Antonio, Texas, week four of the series, but to start off, I just want to apologize for not getting the San Antonio coverage out as fast as I wanted to. I've been pretty busy with stuff going on, so again, I apologize, and here we're riding with Mark Culinary in higher education around San Antonio. It's a pretty tricky course. And uh, you will definitely see some surprises tonight. First round, we have Josh Gajewski going up against Zach Nicholas. Josh qualified uh, very well in this in this event. I think he was a uh, number one qualifier, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. First time by, he's in the lead. And uh, remember, there's three hits on the cars, so it's not the normal two. And Zach Nicholas is up over the freestyle obstacle. And, um... Josh Kajewski will take the pretty easy win into round two here. And he gets a little set of donuts. Next we have Cody Robertson going up against Mike Resco, or Mr. Crisco as he's affectionately known by Tom Pistachio or Tom Papaccio. But anyway, Mike has a really nice turn. He's in the lead over the first set of cars or first jump if you want to say a little bit of a sky wheelie right there but he's still in the lead with a very nice final turn and he will take an, an e pretty easy win going into round two as well here we have Arf Andrew Field who did the commentary for Anaheim last week and Bradshaw in the Mopar Magic Arf has won two racing events already uh, looking for another win. I know he wants to win some more. And uh, right now, he has the lead over Bradshaw, but he kind of messes up, so that gives Brad a chance to come back. But I don't think he'll be able to, because Arf has a very nice pass, and yes, he will get the win. Here we have Mark Culinary in Higher Education, and John Cavallini in Anger Management. Mark has the lead going across coming out of the berm and uh, kind of messes up in the turn and John comes back a little bit Mark goes way wide but John seems to mess up in the turn a little bit but Mark is holding a slight lead over John doesn't look like Mark favors this course too well and Mark will get the win but uh, had a couple problems there and I think he got pretty lucky on that one here we have Ryan McCauley, very well known in the Sim Monster series, driving Titan, and Dylan Bernier, driving Iron Warrior. Ryan McCauley will have the lead over the first set there. Looks like he has a bit of a problem, but it doesn't look like it will hurt him too much. Yes, he still has the lead. Dylan cuts a pretty nice turn, but just as I say that, he washes out and hits the berm, and oh, he's flipping over. Up into the stands little bit there that's why the officials cover off parts of the seats so stuff like that won't affect the crowd here we have Tom Pistachio I'm even saying his name wrong Tom Papaccio but everyone knows him as Tom Pistachio and Lucas Oil Stabilizer and Zach Nicholas or no not Zach Nicholas excuse me Zach Steele in the Iron Outlaw Tom is gonna have the lead over the second time by Zach has a pretty nice turn right there, but I think Tom's going to have this race handled. Yes, he does. He has it handled, and he will be moving on into round two. Connor Richardson and Seal Gecko. Matt Wilkinson, Seal Gecko is his name that he goes by mostly on the Sim Monsters forums and pretty much everywhere else. He, oh, this is a dead heat right now. Wilkinson with a pretty nice turn ar around the berm there. And he has opened up the lead slightly. Who will it be to the finish line? It will be Wilkinson moving on. Very nice run for Wilkinson there. Here we have Roach, another very well-known contender in the Sim Monsters series, going to go up against Lewis LeBron. Roach was pretty much unbeatable in this event. He did very, very well in qualifying. And he looks like he's pretty much perfect here. And he did very well in the Sim Monsters event here as well. So 
I'm expecting a lot out of Roach. And Roach will take a nice easy win. Not too much effort needed there. Second round we have Roach and Josh Gajewski. This is shaping up to be a very good race because these two drivers are very good at racing and they have very good truck control. Roach had a bit of a wheelie over the line there but he takes a nice turn and Roach will have the lead over the second time by. Josh up into the berm that's going to give the win to Roach. Jo if Josh could have made that turn it would have been a lot closer. Now here we have Mike Gresco, Mr. Crisco up against Matt Wilkinson. Matt has some trouble in the turn, gets up on two wheels. I think that's going to end it for him. Looks like Mike's going to have the win here. Mike, another guy who's done doing really well here, looks pretty perfect. He's keeping it tight around the berm, and Mike will have the win. Gecko's up on two wheels again. Here we have Arf and Tom Papaccio. Right now, Arf has the lead. Tom's up on two wheels a bit there. Arf has a beautiful turn around the berm, and he will hold the lead the first time by. Tom has a pretty nice turn. A little bit wide, though, and Arf will still maintain the lead. Arf is up on the berm. Oh, Arf is over. Tom is going to take the upset. Here we have Ryan McCauley. And Mark Culinary. This is shaping up to be a very, very good race. Mark has a pretty nice turn, but oh, that's a dead heat right now. Mark, pretty nice through the turn, but McCauley will have the lead going into the final turn. McCauley messes up, but Mark goes way too wide, and McCauley will take the win. Very, very close race. But uh, Macaulay took that one. Here we have Macaulay again going up against Mike Gresco. Gresco a little bit wider than I th think he was expecting to be. And But he will hold the lead. Macaulay looks like he has a bit of a problem in the turn and Mike has opened it up. Final turn. Mike is pretty tight around the berm there and he makes a very nice pass to take it into the finals. Here we have Roach and Tom Papaccio. Roach, woo, oh, this is a dead heat. Roach, very, very tight around the berm. And, he, oh, it's a dead, dead heat right now. Papaccio, ooh, he goes wide. That may hurt him. Roach has opened up the lead right now. Roach, nice and tight around the berm like he has been all night. And he will take a fairly easy win going into the finals. Final round of San Antonio. We have Roach going up against Mike Gresco. These two competitors have been unbeatable all night. And they were very fast in qualifying. And it's going to be very interesting. It's a dead heat right now. Roach nice and tight again. Oh, I'd have to give the lead to Roach by a bit. Gresco makes the best turn I think he's had all night. And he will take the win over Roach. Oh my. That was a very, very close race. Gresco eked that one out. Congratulations to Gresco, and we will see you next for Freestyle.